It is 109 degrees outside right now. So about 110. I'm gonna just round it up, 110. And we're at a golf course spillway. I am so lucky the water is moving today. I was hoping it would be because when it's hot outside and this water is moving, every fish in this freaking pond is right here. I mean, you could see, it for, I could see like 100 fish. They're not spooking. There's koi right here. That looks like a big large mouth, maybe. Oh, a bunch of little carp, big carp. There's gotta be some yellow bass and stuff in here. I really wanna catch some yellow bass today. That's like my personal goal. But what we're gonna try to figure out today is how is fishing when it's 110 degrees outside? Completely sunny, not a cloud in sight. Let's get set up here. Before anything else, for my own sake, I just have to toss a piece of corn right here before I probably spook most of these fish. I just, I gotta see. We gotta count first cast how quickly we can get a bite. And I personally don't mind the heat. I actually like it. I went all of last summer. We had 42 days, I think, with 110 plus. I didn't run AC once in my car. I don't mind the heat. You see me in every single video, I'm wearing a black long sleeve shirt. I don't mind the heat. But the problem we're probably gonna run into today is the GoPro overheating. And for bait, got a little variety. We got good old corn, which you guys know I use all the time. We got a tub of night crawlers, and I got a Vibrax Blue Fox spinner. These things have always worked great for the yellow bass in here. So I'm hoping the yellow bass are, are back. If you guys don't know the story behind this golf course, back in like, I wanna say December of last year, uh, there was a golden algae bloom in here that killed what I thought was like every fish. Last couple times I fished here, the fishing in general has been off the charts, but I do wanna see if some of those species that I used to only ever catch here have made a return. We're going completely weightless, four pound line, size six hook. That's a very gentle presentation. Even finicky fish are probably not gonna have a problem with this, but these fish don't really seem like a, like they're cautious right now. They're kind of going everywhere eating. Corn water. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like three pieces. Keep it on the smaller side. Actually, I think I'm probably gonna add one more because this last piece is really tiny. Just like that. I'm covering pretty much the entirety of the hook. All right, I'm gonna drop right in front of this, these uh, couple fish right here. See how, uh, how they're acting today. If they're finicky, if they're just sitting there, if they're gonna be eating. Oh, yeah, we got one. <laughs> that was quick. That was very quick. Oh, that's a sick looking fish. Is that a mirror carp? Oh my gosh, I've never caught a mirror carp here in my life. I've fished this pond a hundred times. I've never even seen a mirror carp in here. And it's a smaller one. This must be like a, a fish that just got in here like while this water was flowing out. Well, good thing I started off with the corn. It's not like anything crazy huge, but like just to catch a fish you've never caught in here before, that's sick. Jeez, man, it took them forever. And this is cool because normally when I see mirror carps, they're like, their bodies are a little more football shaped. This guy is like the exact shape of a common carp. First time ever catching mirror carp out of the golf course pond. Fully scaled, beautiful fish. They usually, a lot of the fish in here can look super unhealthy. This fish looks very healthy. Love to see it. See ya. All right, I lied. I'm gonna do one more, one more. Oh, fish just jumped out there. That's a good sign. I mean, this time of year, the freaking carp be jumping out, but it didn't sound like a carp jump. Yeah, I don't see any, any more carp, man. There must've been a hundred of them right when I pulled up. And uh, now I don't see nothing. That is one thing you can do to scare the carp away is fight another carp. Yeah, he bit so weird too. Oh, that might be a bite. There we go. <laughs> back to back cast. Oh, this guy's peeling. Yo, excuse me? He's not letting me pull him at all. Jeez, that does... Why did that feel like a giant bluegill? This does not feel like a carp. This felt like a freaking three pound red ear or something. Oh, oh, yes! Oh my gosh, I knew it wasn't a carp. Oh, I'm so happy I cast it again. Oh my gosh, dude, it's been 
Oh, you see that? That's not a carp. Dude, it's been freaking, what, eight months since I've caught one of these here? Oh, I'm so happy to see the fish returning, man. Oh, yes, baby. Come here. Dude, let's freaking go. That's awesome. Oh, in the net, in the net, in the net, in the net. Quick barrel rolling. There you go. Yes. First time catching one of these babies out here in a long time. Golf course channel catfish. So that's two species already. Heck yeah, man. There's so, if the catfish are here and there's new fish like the mirror carp, you know? I mean, there's gotta be. There's freaking gotta be yellow bass in here. All right, let's get a spinner tied up. Throw that around a couple times. Actually, while I throw the spinner around, before I throw the spinner around, I'm gonna get a uh, worm under a bobber on this rod so we can have something passively fishing while we actively fish. That's pretty much the only time you'll see me actively fishing is when I have something passively fishing for me at the same time. We're gonna use, we're, I have a split shot in here from last video. We're gonna keep that on. I will probably use a size, size six because I mean those last two fish were caught in a size six. The yellow bass, even the big ones, do have kind of small mouths. Going great so far, man. Back to back, it's literally like first and second cast. If the golf courses will let you, it's worth fishing for sure. I've never had any issues here. I've had employees come up to me and say what's up. Everybody's been super chill here. So if you can find a golf course like that, you're in luck. Got the bobber. This freaking crawler's tiny. I was gonna get a half a crawler, but there's a full crawler in here that's like a runt or something. All right, worm threaded up the hook. That's gonna look super nice and natural drifting through this water. They're gonna think it's just something being, being brought through the irrigation. Like that, it'll let a lot of line out. A lot of line out. We want this thing to basically drift as long as it can. Oh, whoa, the bobber just got sunk. The bobber got sunk for a second. I'm not even done letting line out. Oh, it totally got tapped. Guys, I think one's got it. Should we just set the hook on it? How much slack do I have left in here? Fish on, fish on. What is that? What? Oh my gosh, another fish that not only have I not caught here in a long time, I have not caught anywhere since winter, since November. This is the first time I've caught a tilapia since November. This is a blue tilapia. First, second, and third cast. Three different species. I just uh, hope I don't have to catch a bunch of tilapia here because I don't like tilapia. Although it is actually cool to catch one for the first time in a very long time. There we go. Gorgeous blue tilapia from the golf course. That's species number three today. I know we're not doing a species hunt, but it's awesome to see how many different things there are. And guys, remember, it's 110 degrees outside. 110, well, 109. Does this slow down the bite? Everyone, I hear all the time, like, it's too hot for the fishing, the bite's slow, whatever. If it's too hot for you to be outside, totally understandable. But as you can see right here, the bite is, if anything, better when it's hot. I always prefer fishing in the heat. I didn't even get to get the spinner in, man, and I didn't even finish letting out a line. I'm gonna get a new worm on here just because uh, I'm not exactly in a shortage of worms for how the bite's looking. This one we're probably gonna have to break in half. Now, if we end up catching another tilapia like right away, I'm just gonna stop with the worm under the bobber because I do not want to be catching tilapia all day. That's three casts, three landed fish and three different species. So I guess I should just change this video to catching fish on every single cast. Yeah, I haven't been able to catch tilapia in a long time. I've seen them a few times, but they've always been super finicky. It's nice to actually land one, because, you know, as much as I hate them, I like, oh, there's a catfish swimming up there. What the heck? Well, maybe I can actually put this rod down for a second. Get a spinner tied on. Ah, bobber's gone, bobber's gone. Yeah, that's gotta be another tilapia. The way it's fighting yeah <laughs> i mean hey it's cool to finally get on some you know what i mean it's been so long 
Another blue tilapia though. Very cool fish. Goodbye. All right, let's get the spinner tied on real quick. Screw the worm under a bobber because I imagine it's going to be, I might catch something else doing that, but how many tilapia do I want to catch to maybe get to something else? You know what I mean? So spinner action, here we go. This is actually the very first thing I ever caught a yellow bass on. This exact one, except in gold. Might be very good. Ow! All right, see what we can do with this. All right. There's a carp right here on the edge. I have actually caught carp on these spinners here. We're gonna let it sink all the way to the bottom, which isn't very deep here, probably three, four feet. And then we're just gonna do a straight retrieval. Slow, we're not gonna go quick. We're gonna start slow, and then if we're not getting bites for a bit, we'll kind of pick up the speed. That's usually how I do it when I'm using spinners. Oh, I just got bit right there. Right there, guys, right there. All right. Oh, dude, that has to be a yellow bass, man. I don't know what else that could be. Oh, I felt that one. Jerked it three different times. There's gotta be something in there that's not tilapia. And it's not very big. Go back to floating a worm, but I'll just, uh, I'll leave out any like tilapia I'm catching because I know you guys want to see the same thing the entire time. Man, that's crazy. So many like little bites out of nowhere. And that's it. Sometimes they hit it a couple times, but like it just, it was never a committing thing. I just saw a bass jump out there for sure. Like I'm surprised we didn't get a large mouth or nothing on there, you know? Oh, yep, 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 shoot. Oh, is he gone? Oh my gosh, how much slack did I give it? He's gone, dude, that could have been a yellow. How much freaking slack? I thought I gave it a lot less slack than I did. Cause the thing is if, if you don't have enough slack on it, like it stops flowing and it like stops looking natural. Okay, why did you just turn around? Yeah, that's why. Oh, okay. That didn't feel like a tilapia. Okay. Something's biting, bro. Something is biting. Something was biting my spinner. Same spot that this is getting sunk is where my spinner kept getting hit. And they've dropped this thing both times. Like there's something in here. Yep, right there. It's like, yeah, again, dude, there's some, that's gotta be, that's gotta be yellow or something. This is what I was talking about. All right, the GoPro's back on. I don't know how it sounds though. It could sound like I'm underwater because I just had to dip this thing in the water to get it to uh, get it to cool off. I might downsize hooks here. I'm so curious what the heck this fish is. That's hit my spinner about a thousand times. That sunk this bobber like six times in a row. I failed to set the hook on it every single time. It's like it never can get the hook in its mouth. So I made downsize hooks. Oh, see right there. Oh, look. Okay, that's a tilapia. See, that's a very different bite than whatever was just biting before. I'll just throw this guy in real quick. We're gonna catch whatever the heck that fish is, man. Okay. Downsize is happening, man. Downsize is happening right now. I have a size six hook on here. I'm gonna go size eight. And then I'm gonna go an even smaller piece of a worm. Like with that dude, he's not gonna be able to miss that. There's no chance. Oh. That was a tilapia. I don't even care that it popped off. Whatever the heck this other fish is, man, it's not a tilapia. The bite is so different and I always fail to set the hook on him. Oh my gosh, dude, what is that? What the heck did I just hook? That bobber, dude, I've never seen a bobber sink as fast as just then. What is that? 
Is it a carp? I caught a carp under a bobber on a worm. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a common though. The last one was a mirror, which I know they're the same species, but it's cool to catch a different, uh, a different, uh, what do you call it? All right, maybe too small of a worm. And this guy thought it was bread or something. <laughs> uh, hey, that's where, uh, that's something, that's a little change though, because I'm sick of these tilapia right now. I'm back to hating tilapia. This is why I hate them, by the way, because you're fishing for anything else and the tilapia won't stop biting. But anytime you're targeting the tilapia, it's like you can never freaking catch them. It's only when I don't want to catch them that I catch them. Yeah, I think I need to go slightly bigger worm. This is about the size the last time when I was getting bit by them. Except we had a bigger hook. Come on. Well, whatever heck that fish was, it ain't biting no more. It was definitely not a tilapia, I can tell you that. Could have been a tiny bluegill, could have been a tiny yellow bass, not sure. But we're gonna free line two worms out there now. Actually, this one will probably have to be on a wait. And uh, we'll see what wants to bite. I have actually caught the yellow bass while sinking stuff before, so it's not impossible, not impossible. I'm gonna just go half a night crawler on each of my lines. There's a knot in my reel. So this thing is like impossible to cast right now. That was actually pretty good. Pretty good. And I got new rod holders. Yay. That's freaking concrete, man. All right. As good as I'm going to get. Oh my gosh, dude. This is literally concrete. <sighs> Serious? <sighs> yep. No, nope. that's as much as I'm getting that rod holder in the ground. You know what, I might as well just throw a full crawler on. Why not? As I say that, I grabbed the biggest freaking worm in the entire tub. Oh! Ah! Is he still there? Yep, he's still there. What is that? Come on, man, I'm trying to get my worm on. That feels weird. What are you? Hey, please be a giant yellow bass. Please be a giant yellow bass. Oh, it's a catfish. Yeah, another catfish. This one's much smaller than that first one, but also like really healthy. Itty bitty channel cat. Healthy though. Cool colors on them, some spots. All right. Let's get one more fish. One more fish and we'll call it because we've had a crazy day so far of fishing and I've only been here like probably, I don't know, 45 minutes. Maybe I don't go a full crawler. Yeah, I'm gonna take some of it off. Throw it in, something can eat that. Okay, free line. Way out there. Get this camera on here so you guys can see any takedowns that may happen. I'm gonna have to go to the left where this grass is freaking green. And it's not even green, it's like less brown. Ow, man. Got like a perfect half crawler sitting in there. Seemed like the half crawler got bit immediately, so. Do that again. This one's a freaking fat one, though. All right, last fish. What can we get? Oh. Aha, uh -huh, that wasn't a channel cat. Channel cat ain't gonna drop like that. What was that? Yeah, that heat's starting to get to me, man. That's the thing with like, when it's like 110 outside, as you sit out here long enough, it's just like, it just feels hotter and hotter as you go on. That sun just becomes brutal. It's not nearly as bad when there's clouds out, for sure. That looks like it's getting bit. You getting bit? Yup, you're getting bit. <laughs> what is that? Please be yellow, please be yellow bass. It's a yellow! Yes! Dude, it's been so long. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't gonna understand. You're gonna think I'm freaking out over a little fish, dude. It's been so long since I've caught a yellow. And I, I've always had the question, are they still here? The answer is yes. I'm telling you, I was getting bit on the spinners and the worms. It was probably a yellow bass. <sighs> finally, dude, finally. 
Finally, man. Finally. There he goes. See ya. Oh, we're not done yet. Got something else on here. I was just pulling up the rod to be done for the day. We got one more. What the heck is that? Oh, again on the worm. Surprising. I don't usually catch them on worms, but we'll take it. He's freaking not wanting to go into that net. Okay, I, I actually really wanted to end the video on a yellow bass because like that's what I was after this whole time, really. But this guy wanted to be the star of the show, I guess. Oh, and he's in the water. Cool, he just jumped out of my hands. Whatever, fine, don't be the star of the show. Oh, we did it, guys. I mean, fishing in 110, that's really the theme of this video. It's hot, but the fishing was off the charts. Uh, but really, this place having yellow bass again is just like, makes my heart happy. I have not caught one in so long, man. And I was so worried with that algae bloom that they were never gonna make a comeback, but they're here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned something in this video. I appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you guys next week.